Hello everybody, if you are witnessing this video right now, then you know in your heart that my computer now works. I got a replacement battery that does not heat up to a million bajillion degrees and no longer in danger than my life and safety as poisonous material might explode out of it at some point in time. Now, I wanted to play my gunslinger, which I think is level 23? Question mark? But, uh, yeah, I can't figure out how to change classes, so there's a lot of people here, and I was like, oh, I'll ask them, but then I pressed enter, and it talks in clan chat, it talks in, like, group chat, whatever this is called, and I also forgot how to change that back to global, so here we are, 10 million years later, being unable to communicate and being unable to change classes so that being said we're going to improvise dude and play on my lunar lancer by the way a little sneak peek into what i plan to do on my gunslinger is it occurred to me in a dream almost as if some some sort of trance state also known as i was just sitting here thinking about trove and i realized i did not have the class gem on my gunslinger yet so i'm missing out on a huge chunk of power so i really want to know what that's like dude so if you know how to change classes, and if you know how to change to global chat, please do let me know in the comments section down below because I've completely forgotten. Now in the meantime, we got some Lunar Lansing to do, dude. I'm going to go into the highest possible portal that I can. Just kidding, because I'm not level 6-7. Wait a second, suggested class level 4 minus 5. Why would it suggest a class level of negative 1? I mean, that's such an easy math pro- why not just- you see, that's called that's called a good old classic arcane acorn math joke. I love numbers, dude, and numbers love me. We have sort of a symbiotic relationship, as does the Algerian wildebeest with the fruit fly. Now, the wildebeest is not a fruit, but the fruit flies cannot differentiate between a banana and a wildebeest. So the fruit flies find themselves sucking on the back of a wildebeest. And, you know, that's just, that's just nature, dude. Nature is beautiful. Do those symbols mean something up on that wall? Let's see here. I'm going to try to figure it out. So that over there is like a heart, but they didn't connect the, the they didn't connect the dots. This one's like a ladle, you know, like a, like a spoon for soup. This one is a, clearly, this one's a snail, dude. You got the shell right here, then the snail head peeking out. It's, it's a beautiful image. This one, you know, a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell, but I'm sort of, the one of the most experienced trove players in the universe you know even aliens that play trove i'm sort of one notch above them but this one's actually a wilted flower blowing in the wind you could see how it's got sort of like a stem and leaf configuration down here and it's got its stem its real stem right here and then it has the flower and you could see it sort of being pushed over to the right and that's because the wind is coming from the left over here it's wilted a little bit so the wind could easily push it then we got the teapot this one it's just obvious that it's a teapot and then we got an enemy smacking me around which is not that great so m to see where the dungeons are and there's a dungeon oh this is a dungeon excellent but i can't do it because it is large wait it is large i love large dungeons Large dungeons, I think, are my favorite dungeon of all time. Yes, indeed, Mr. Viewer, whoever you might be, wherever you might be, whatever it is that you might be doing today or tomorrow or the next day or the next day even, or even, believe it or not, the day after that. I'm going to claim this cornerstone to buy a little bit of time because I want to try to remember how to do the things that I was told to do before I learned that, uh-oh, playing Trove means that I can't do it because I got a bad battery, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's going to, you know, it's going to overheat and then it's going to explode and, you know, then it's just going to be like poisonous battery juices at like 200 degrees just flying everywhere in the room and, you know, into like my eyes and stuff. And I'm going to be like, oh, my eyes, I can't see through the poisonous battery gas. I'm going to have to go like to like the emergency room or whatever. You know, they're going to be like, why did you do this? Didn't you read the warnings on your computer? Say maybe you should replace your battery. And then I'll be like, I did read them. But could you, you know, fix my eyes really quick? It's like starting to burn a lot. And then they're going to be like, yeah, we could fix your eyes or... And he's going to whip out a deck of cards. The doctor's going to whip out a deck of cards and he's going to say, or pick a card. And I'll be like, you serious right now? You're going to do a magic trick instead of fixing my eyes? And he's going to be like, I don't know. I might do both, but one's going to happen first. Now pick a card, please. 
and I'm gonna sigh, dude. I'm gonna sigh, not a sigh of relief, but a sigh of I can't believe this guy's making me do this. And I'm gonna pick a card, and it's gonna be the two of clubs. And I'm gonna say, Do you wanna see the card? And he's gonna say, Nope, don't show me the card. I'm going to guess it. And I'm going to say, Okay, what's my card? And he's gonna say, it Doesn't work like that. You gotta put it back in the deck first. And I'm gonna say, All right. And then I'm gonna hand him the card. As he opens the deck, I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. He's going to, you know, close the deck, act like he's shuffling it back in. And then he's going to be like, oh, is this your card? <laughs> and it's going to pull out the two of clubs. And I'm going to be like, wow, it is my card. I can't believe it. That was the most amazing magic trick I've ever seen in the history of magic. And then he's going to look at me and he's going to say, and by the way, what did you say? And then I'm going to look at him and say, uh, I think I said it's the most amazing trick that I've ever seen in the history of magic and the doctor's gonna look at me and say that's exactly what you said It's the best magic trick that you've ever seen in the history of magic that you've ever seen Okay, your eyes are fixed and I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna see everything I'm gonna be fine dude because it's the best magic trick I've ever seen which means I can see and my eyes are perfectly fine Ha ha we've done it everybody. We have successfully played trove without doing anything which I guess is not good. Should I do something in the game? I guess so. I've completely forgot how to swap my mount, by the way. So is it O? No. Is it P? No. Is it L? No. Is it K? No. Is it M? If it's not N, then I need somebody to tell me, okay? N! It's not N. I have failed. Yet, wait, new items? Deals. Free starter. Why do I get one for free? Question for everybody in the universe. Why do I get this free starter class right now? Is this a limited time thing? Or do I just get it because I'm a freaking beast? Am I am I the best pro player in the world? Wait a second, why is this locked? Unlock a free class coin once you purchase any pack from the credits tab of the trove store. Well, I hate to break it to you, my dude, but I, you know, I don't have credits, my friend. Look at this. What's this number down here? You see, it's like a rainbow cubit. Well, guess what? There's a box next to it. And there's a big fat zero right in the front of it, dude. I freaking don't have any rainbow cubes. <laughs> this is so freaking, so freaking broke, dude, that it would actually scare, it, 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 it would scare somebody, okay? It would scare somebody into going like, yeah, that dude's kind of broke. Which doesn't, I mean, he doesn't sound scared, but uh, he would be scared. He would be frightened, to say the least. He would be so scared that he'd be acting normal. That's the best way I could put it. So what's going on here? Why is there like deals? And what do I get a free class, dude? Chaos weekly deal? Oh my goodness, there's a time limit on it. Wait a second, $29.99, dude? That's so much less than $30. That's actually scaring me. All right, I got to get out of here, dude. So if you know how to change my mounts, if you know why I need a free start class, if you know why I friggin' friggin' friggin', if you know how to turn on global chat, if you know how to talk to people, if you know how to change my class, then please do let me know down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I might be lost in the wilderness that is the snowy abyss that resides in front of my noggin i forgot to recharge my flask which was one of the primary reasons for creating a cornerstone in the first place and then i forgot to do this giant dungeon as well trust me guys one day we're actually going to do a dungeon <laughs> that day has not come yet but uh winter is coming and it's going to come soon it's going to come soon with an m that's right not soon why would it ever come soon all right, let me try to familiarize myself with my abilities. I do like a one, and then what? So I've done a one. Oh, right, shift is my shift. It, no, no. What is my... Oh, right, right click, and then double... Oh, dude, it's so nice. I love it, dude. So let's see here. What am I looking for? All right, I got my tiny mustache, dude. I love this tiny mustache, dude, dude. His mustache wiggled. Y'all saw that in blinding medium definition audio and or visual aids? That was amazing. I got 10 experience for doing nothing, dude. Oh, man. Feels good to be alive. Dude, it feels so good to be back in Trove, man. It has been a while. So apparently there's a dude over here. I'm going to go see if I can see what he's doing. Maybe explore a little bit with him. Fight alongside him. Free items on the ground as well. I'm just going to pick him up, dude. I got to catch up to him, dude. If I know what's good for me. And I don't, so that's, I guess, a problem, but, uh, yeah, here we are. I picked up a Hailstorm Halberd. Sounds kind of nice. There was a lot of green in it as well, which means that it might just be an upgrade, which would be good, you know, which, but by, by definition, would be the opposite of bad. Indeed, viewer, the definition of good is not bad. Mmm, curious. And, uh, if you were wondering, the definition of bad is not good. <laughs> 
meaning that the the definition it's not well defined the definition itself is not good it's not bad which means not good it is not that it is the the definition it is erroneously defined and that's why it is it is a not good definition hmm Let's see am i supposed to be killing these things i'm gonna try hello i am destroying you wait a second you're killing me in a single shot and i'm gone all right it was nice trying to fight you but i would rather not die then, uh, then die. So, I mean, dude, this is just my preference. I would rather not die than die. Just being honest, he's smacking me across this ice here, making me slide around the dungeon, dude.